Okay, greetings. This is Rich of Classic Games Redefined. Hello there. Again, my name's Rich. We're doing this Wednesday night, and we will get this video up soon, as soon as I annotate or whatever else I'm going to do. My reason was I will explain a bit here what we have upcoming that's going to relate to the tropes versus players. I'm going to ask you to watch something on Friday, and I'll discuss in a minute to give me some feedback. I very possibly be able to do multi-slides and stuff that can em emphasize my point here. So we'll do an introductory video soon on that. But anyhow, let's begin. I want to start to discuss what went over last week. Over the past week. Uh, I believe on Friday I discussed about Max's closing and my thoughts on that. And then I up then it came available over the weekend. It was a bunch of arcade knockoffs, not ports, but clones, wannabes, you know, etc., Atari Big Computer, and there were links to manuals I found them, plus the instructions, manuals, and also what a plain archive website. Go check it out. And then I had a game called King's Crossing, which I also showed. And then the Mutator Monday, I went into Why Magic the Gathering, and also Mutator, which was appropriate called Resource Pooling, which consists of normally people have separate resources, and you combine them together. And there was the three-headed dysfunctional dragon. A giant, sorry. Three, three-headed dysfunctional giant. On Monday, you if you play Magic looking for a three-player variant, do that. Then I'll also discuss this week some issues I was having with Table Ops Simulator regarding stacking. I did those videos just to show the company, but they're on the site. It also goes a little bit of how to do some workarounds. I've been playing around more with it. It limits what I'm going to be doing with the product in a limited sense. I mean, most of the stuff I can do, but some of my games I'm not going to be able to show unless I get a workaround for that. So, anyhow. Okay. Let's discuss the longer term upcoming about the progress and then segue into what we have upcoming here. First thing. I believe I have a way to do this, and I'm probably going to do an update. You'll see Friday. And why I said this, I'm going to do a multi-slide presentation on player motivation types. There's four of them. Watch the video on Friday. If you have an interest in tropes versus player look like that, and give me feedback. It's a bit limited. I'm using kind of an equivalent to PowerPoint and doing a few other things with it. Not going to have exciting graphics. This is just a dry run. I felt the information was important. I get that working right, get some feedback, I very likely am going to start tackling tropes versus player. Pretty much the shorthand is what I wanted to do is I do the audio first, then come up with the video and then sync the two manually. And I'm doing that, and I use open broadcaster software, so maybe I'll show that technique sometime if competent. It's much more time consuming, and I want to give you a heads up here. You get is less news items and during the week from me while I'm doing this, I'm doing other things. But I really want to be able to have that to work. By the way, I got background noise. That's why I'm on the mic here. But hopefully this is sufficient to get the information out. So what we have here, besides player motion motivation types, the four types, that'll be on Friday. We're not going to really do much over the weekend. However, it's going to be more board game stuff. I'm actually going to be looking at my copy, of my game on it. One of, another game on half checkerboard. If you like Connect 4, stay tuned for it. I'm very light. I might do this early on Sunday. Very likely it should be up on Monday, along with the Mutator Monday, which I'm going to be doing. But I'm going to be looking at a board game called Castle Panic, showing you in Tabletop Simulator, and going over why I feel that's a good game. These videos are up. I also want to discuss the Mutator Monday Mutator called Betrayal, which if you know Trader Games, it's a little bit like that. If you know Red November, you'll get a bit like the idea of how that works. Along the lines of the massive multiplayer format, but it's particularly suited for for Castle Panic. And if you have an interest in looking at a different way to play the board game Castle Panic, do it. I will try to maybe get some videos during the week here, but really, I am, besides other stuff here, I am trying to get upscale, make the presentation for the videos better, and which means less. If some news item really grasps me, what I will do here is you'll actually, I'll find a web page, point to it, and I will share my thoughts with it. But I'm really getting moving into it. So the showing where to play the video game stuff is kind of dying down. I mean, I have the regulars of why that, why that, why that game. Also, the Mutator Mondays, things I've gone are fairly regular. The Dunder early in the week. 
and then one of my games. So that's core stuff here. The other things is that I get better at this. I'm going to be doing it, and my focus now is this series of videos, Tropes versus Players, which, unless job stuff pops up, will be coming in the weeks. In the next few weeks, once I get things laid out, I will do the introduction. Then I'm going to do one video, and I'll give you the first video I'm going to want after the introduction, which is going to be Play Mechanic Fatigue. And it ta discusses why you get bored and probably what relates here. So that series, I'll go in greater detail, just looks at what's wrong with video games today. What's happening? Why are we getting bored? What can be done about it? I'd also like to put some solutions in there. So anyhow, this would normally go up Thursday and move to Friday, but I have that Friday video. I want to give you a few day lead time for it. So that's it for this week. Other things will pop up in these updates. Um... Yeah, updates in upcoming video, the update in upcoming video, which I'm doing here. Uh, just go into when I revise. So if I didn't mention anything this week, the next week I'll mention to it. But if you stay tuned to the channel, check out the different playlists to be able to find stuff. So anyhow, that's it. I have some more editing stuff to do. Want to get better reasonably hour tonight also. So anyhow, just want to get this video up. So okay, that's it. I do want to thank you for watching, particularly if you went through all this. Thank you. So, you know, that's it. I do want to thank you for watching, particularly new people that popped in. The one thing that apparently I probably picked up a few viewers because of Tim Schafer, that Tim Schafer coming, not, not your sock puppet, apparently end up on the first page of Google. So, yeah, that's it. So, I do want to thank you for watching, and may your die always roll five.